Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you which software I use to do my packing for the online orders. Uh, the software I like is the best is called Packing Partner. It's from AIMCO. Uh, this software is the easiest one to use. Uh, so basically you have set up your online business, you're getting the orders, uh, but you don't know how to put your labels or maybe you are just using spreadsheet or word to print your label and you're doing a lot of copy pasting from your online channel maybe amazon or ebay to the your excel or word pad sheet and then printing your label so i'm just going to show you like how i use the software and print the labels and basically it helps speed up your uh, selling and i mean packaging process so the software is called Packing Partner, it's from AMCO software. Uh, I have used the other softwares which are uh, Just Ship It and Shiprocks. The reason I prefer the Packing Partner over these two is because one thing is the cheapest and easiest of the both, sorry, easiest of, easiest to use as compared to these two. Uh, Plus, these two softwares has a lot of restrictions on you. Like, say you paying twenty. The is cheapest one on the Shipworks is twenty five pound dollars per month for hundred orders. So if you're getting hundred orders, so you still you pay them twenty five dollars per month. You can use it with five channels. You you can go through with this. I'll put the links. Uh, same is with uh, just ship it. Is you paying 15 pound per month if you are printing 250 orders using the soft software or you're managing those orders uh, the ship works uh, one thing is it's uh, straight you get two weeks free trial so you can download and try it for free for two weeks and if you like it you can go ahead and purchase the full version uh, just a disclaimer that I don't have any affiliation or not getting paid for any of these softwares. So just wanted to clear that thing. So to download the packing partner, you need to go to this link. I'll put this in description. And you want to download this ppv 33 release.exe. I've already done it and I've installed it. So I'm just going to go ahead and skip this step and open my packing partner. All right. So the first thing is you want to download your sales to the software because I use I sell on eBay so I'm just gonna go to eBay and download my sales it's pretty much sale for anything like if you're using Amazon PayPal open cart like many other online shopping carts is the same so I for the eBay uh, I need to go to it's called selling manager so I'm just gonna go to selling manager on eBay I'm gonna go for waiting dispatch once it's open get this window here once it's fully open because it's still loading so it's probably eBay has been having a crush or they are slow since a couple of weeks now all right, so once this is fully open, these icons, they become clickable. So what you want to do, you want to go to the first one, select sales, and collect it. Collect sales. So what it will do, it will download the sales onto your system. All right, so once it's downloaded, uh, the view window will automatically change from browser to records so here it's gonna show you like whatever orders you got so I've got like eight orders collected and their addresses details of shipping like here in UK we use Royal Mail so at the, I'm using second class postage for this this particular item so if I had like first class it would appear first class so the way I have set up my label here, this is my label setup. So 
I've used this is called uh, replaceable table here. Yeah? So what it does say if the system sees like for a particular item I am I'm using the first class postage, it will on the label it will show the first class. If it's a second class, it will show the second class. So just to give you an idea, I go back here. Does this all of these are the same item I'm using the second class postage. So it won't show like the first class, but I just give you an idea. Just go to print preview. See it's it's showing me the label, the postage service I'm gonna use. It's Royal Mail, second class, customer's address, the label. This is a barcode which I basically use. It, it's it, this barcode. If I go back to label layout, it's a record ID. So you get this record ID from your channel. Uh, this software can be used uh, with any any of like online most of them online channels. Say like here, I just show you subscribe. Like these are the channels you can use this software with. It's compatible with Amazon, BigCommerce, BluePack. Open card, Gento, too many. It's Amazon, PayPal, eBay, Shopify, it's a lot of them. All right. And just to give you an idea, it's uh, it has different subscription options. Like if you want a full subscription, you pay 150 pound plus VAT in the UK. It comes up to say 180 pound roughly around. And you can use anyone, whichever is like option you want. All right. So the first thing normally I do is I go to printing and I print records. So at the moment I use a thermal label, but you can use any label, any printer, whatever you have, and then labels you got, and you can design your labels here based on your printer or the labels you got. So I this is the labels I got, so I use them. And I've got the thermal thermal printer. Alright. So what I'm gonna do print preview to show you. But normally otherwise I would just click on the print records. Alright. So I'll get the labels printed. Alright. This barcode basically helps me like if I wanna put tracking tracking on a particular item, right? Which I will show you later. All right, so say I've printed the records, print records, yeah, see I've printed them, because I'm not showing you the printing. I'm gonna, or I can do it, mark as printed. Once it's mark as printed, the window view is gonna change, mark printed, okay? It's asking me, Mark eight record as printed. All right, done. So I'm going to a printed sales view. So here I've got this one printed. What I can do, I can I could have done it in the previous step, but I'm doing it now. Picking list. This thing show you what your picking list is. If I had like different items, they would appear. They would appear here on this page and. Blah, blah. Like if you have like more pages, they will print here. So I've got to pick nine of these items, whatever I'm selling these cables, right? Okay. Or if you want to print packing list, you can print packing list. Use this one. All right. So this is a packing list. I can print this one to help me. But this, what this thing's done reduces the amount of human error. So basically you get the item, you check the label, you put in envelope, you pack it, and you tick. All right, packed. You, you put it, tick, that item is packed, all right? So say once you have done the packing, items are done, and they're ready to go for shipping. So what you do is now, go to shipping. You can either click mark shipping. What I do, because sometimes I get like, I have to put the tracking if some item is expensive. I have to put the tracking for it. So what I do, I go to here, this lorry icon, shipping, scan shipped. So remember, 
the label, the barcode I printed here, this one, uh, this barcode, I'm gonna scan it using my barcode scanner or I can use the scanner with my camera on the phone. Okay, so I scan this one, see. When I, when I scan it, that record number appears here. That record number appears here. And then I can scan the barcode for the label. See, I'm using Royal Mail second class sign form. So the barcode will come here. And it will basically, in, in that way, uh, you can update online. So once, say, once you have marked the item as shipped, right? So once it's done, you go back to your browser, you click this icon, update sales. So once you update sales, so my system got stuck. So once you click this update sales, you come up with this, update this. So if you have added any tracking number, it will come here and it will automatically be added to your online shopping cart. So it's eBay, it's Amazon, PayPal, Open Cart or anyone, Magento, it will be added to there, okay? So I'm not gonna do it, okay, because I haven't done it, so I'm just showing you guys. So this is how, basically, I use it. And I think this software is the good one. Plus, I just wanted to, I forgot to show you something else. These tabs, say these orders. So if you wanted to add like personal orders, sometimes some, somebody phones you up, like, hey, I want this item. Uh, they don't know how to use your website or to online. So you can put the order yourself. Go here, create new order, put the, their name, email address, and whatever you've taken your payment, cash, credit card, you put it, it will come here. It will appear here. So once it's appear here, you can send it to the records and you can do it the same way. You can process it the same way. Secondly, you can print the sales report in this order. All right. Say for today, it's showing me at the moment zero because I want to select it today. If I go, select, saying my today sale is 17 pound 55 pence. And the items, whatever item have you sold, it will show you here. All right, so basically you can also print the invoices if you want to. All you have to do is set up your invoices. You can put your logos here, like image. You can put logo of your company if you can choose. And uh, basically it's all you have to set up yourself. Uh, what I normally do is because this, this software is sports email. So what I do, I use the email function and I use that one to my advantage. So what the way I do is, like email option, when I update the items or mark the items as shipped, I send my customers a dispatched email. It tells them like your item is has been dispatched this is your tracking number to track it and probably how long it will take. And again, similarly, you can use send invoices in the email so it helps you like reduce your printing work. So this is how I use this software to pack my order and update them online. So I hope you liked it. If you have any queries about it or you want to know something which I didn't mention, please write that below in the comments and I'll try to get back to you. If you like the video, please do give us thumbs up. Thank you.